Welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to rig any of your bows in Blender. First I would like to thank you for the 200 subscribers, I would never have believed it, and I am happy about everyone else who likes my videos and shows it with a like. So we are in Blender version 3.0.1, and I already have brought my bow and arrow models to our scene. For now, let's hide the arrow by pressing H. After that select the bow. To get started, make sure that the origin of the bow is right in the middle of the handle, so it's easier to flip the armature later on. Switch to edit mode, and select the center points of the mesh, press shift S to bring the 3D cursor to the selected part. Now we are ready to create the armature, so shift A to create the bones. In my case, I created three large bones for the stiff parts of the bone. With E you can extrude another bone. Then create smaller bones for the main part you want to push back, shift R to repeat the last action. Just roughly follow the model, it's not that important to be very exact. When you are happy with the position of the bones, create one more bone and scale it along the x-axis and name it top underscore inverse underscore k. Then duplicate it and scale it a little bit further along the x-axis, and rename it as top underscore limit. After that select both bones in X-ray mode and break the parentings with Alt P. Select in edit mode, the left point of the bone called top underscore inverse underscore K, and extrude it just like so. Parent the bone, called top underscore inverse underscore it to the last bone we had extruded. Then switch the direction of the bone with Alt F. Rig is ready to flip to the other part of the mesh. Switch the pivot point to 3D cursor, then select all bones and duplicate them, scale them along the z-axis by minus 1. Rename the important bones. Now we are gonna create the last two bones. Shift and bring a new bone for the string component in. Rotate it 90 degrees along the Y axis. Just like so. Name it string and make sure there's no parenting to other bones. Create one more bone, called main, and position it just like so. It should be located on the X axis. Select the bones like me and make sure the main bone is active, then press STRGP and choose to keep offset. Now, parent the mesh to the armature and choose. With automatic weights. Now the rig is ready, and we are gonna make this work. Select the string bone and add a limit location constraint to it. Enable all axes and make sure the owner is set to local space. Then set the minimum to something around minus 0.2 and maximum to 1.5. Now the bone is fixed to the x-axis. Select the last smaller bone and add an inverse kinematic constraint to it. Select armature as the target and under bone, choose the top underscore inverse underscore k. Include the exact amount of bones in the chain length, the main bones are not included. In my case it's 16. Now select the top underscore limit bones and the limit distance constraint to it. Select armature as the target and the bone string. Set the distance to the exact value. It's the same as the Z position of the bone. Just copy and paste it there. Select the largest bone and add a tractor constraint to it. Select armature as the target and the bone top underscore limit. Enable the Y and Z channel just like me. Make sure the target Z is unenabled. Now it should look just like mine. The whole thing is now repeated on the other side. Finally, the rigging setup is done. Congratulations! Now it can be animated with just the movement of the string bone. 
I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to ask your questions in the comments. Please leave a subscription and a like. See you soon.